Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets welcome back to another DSA video and in this video we are going to perform the delete vertex operation in a graph data structure now quick recap we've been covering the graph data structure in the last few videos in this DSA playlist and it is a proper series which means that each video is linked to the previous video so if you are directly jumping or skipping some videos you might have difficulty understanding this video so please make sure you watch this DSA playlist or at least the graph topic in this DSA playlist in the proper order of this playlist so that you understand our context and our approach and for those who have already watched the previous video we did the delete edge operation in the previous video and in this video we are going to do a delete vertex operation so let's understand what this delete vertex operation is and how we are going to approach this operation so on the screen we have this graph data structure as an example and uh, let's assume that we want to delete this particular vertex okay so this vertex is vertex mp with the id of 3 now i'm assuming you guys already have an idea about our structure that is our graph data structure and our approach of adjacency list and the vector and all those things that we've used we've talked about it extensively in previous videos so this is going to be our vertex that we want to delete okay so how do you go about deleting an entire vertex so when you delete this vertex MP or Madhya Pradesh that is with the ID 3 one thing that will happen is this edge that is an edge between Maharashtra and MP and this edge that is this edge between Goa and MP also needs to be deleted right so you can't just simply delete off this vertex that is remove of this vertex and uh, keep these edges which means that this is a two-step process that is deleting a edge is fairly straightforward compared to deleting a vertex right so when you delete a vertex first thing that we have to do is we have to also remove these links so any more links that were coming to Madhya Pradesh also have to be removed first and only then you can completely erase of this vertex right makes sense so that should be our approach or that should be our first step right so on the left hand side we have the pseudocode we will dry run this and understand everything step by step but I thought I'll just give you a first context diagrammatically of how things happen now in our memory we are storing each vertex in a vector the vector name is vertices I hope you know what is a vector vector is nothing but a STL library object which is provided to us and since we are using C++ programming to implement this graph data structure we are using the STL library and we are using the vector object so it is nothing but a dynamic array which can increase and decrease its size uh, during runtime so each object that is being stored inside this vector vertices is nothing but a vertex object and each vertex object has a id has a name and it also has a list so list is another stl object and this list will have a list of edge objects okay so this yellow box is nothing but a edge now since our graph is a undirected graph which means that if there is an edge between maharashtra to goa there is also an edge between Goa and Maharashtra so that is the same edge that counts both ways so if you see in the edge list that is this green box of Maharashtra we have a edge object 2 comma 500 which represents a link between Maharashtra and Goa similarly in the Goa's vertex in this edge list that is in this green box we have a edge object 1 comma 500 which is nothing but again the same edge represented in the Goa's edge list right so the 2 is nothing but the destination id for Maharashtra and 2 is the id of Goa and in Goa's edge list that is this edge object we have 1 which is the id of Maharashtra. So again this was quick recap but now coming to the delete vertex operation. Let's start off with the dry running of this delete vertex operation so that we get a context and understanding of how things happen programmatically step by step. So starting off with step number 1 what we do is we create a temporary variable v index and we store 0 in it and this v index will basically get the index location of the vertex that we want to delete okay so we are simply going to pass the vertex id so what is the vertex id the vertex id is 3 right so v id let me write over here v id is nothing but 3 3 stands for madhya pradesh vertex when we want to delete this vertex right so we are passing 3 over here all right so we create one more v index currently having 0 okay so then we run a loop so this loop is going from 0 to vertices dot size 
So this vertices is nothing but as I mentioned our vector object which currently is holding three vertices at index position zero, one, and two. So this vertice is nothing but a vector object. A vector is nothing but a dynamic array for reference or for ease of understanding as of now. And we are saying vertice is dot size. So currently the size of this vertice is vector is three because it is holding three elements. That is three vertices. Correct. So we will go from zero to two. which means we are going to run this loop 3 times and inside this we are checking if vertice is at get state id equal equal to vid so vid we just passed 3 we are saying if vertice is dot at at is nothing but i i is nothing but the iterator in the loop so it will take 0 1 and 2 and we are getting the state id at every vertex so when you are at 0 the state id is 1 and we equate it with vid which is 3 and when you get a match we store that v index that is the index i into this v index variable so basically at 0 what we will get vertice is at 0 is nothing but this first vertex we are saying get state id what is the state id 1 is 1 equal equal to 3 no so this will not be executed again the loop will be progressed and i will become 1 at vertice of 1 what is the v index or what is the state id it is 2 is 2 equal equal to 3 no then we will progress we will say at 2 so vertice is at 2 get state id what is the state id 3 is 3 equal equal to 3 yes so now over here the i value currently is 2 right i equals to 2 you can see over here also index position is 2 so this 2 is now stored inside this v index so why did we get this or why did we store this two in this v index because now we have figured out that this is the vertex or at this location is the vertex that we want to delete you can see mp is at index position 2 so this index position is later going to be used to delete this vertex okay that's why we are currently just storing it in this and that's why we use this loop okay so we've got the index position of the vertex that we want to delete so that's step number 2 Let's move ahead. Now over here, as I said before, deleting the entire vertex, we will also have to delete the edges, right? So this loop is going to do that, and we know, or we just found out that the vertex that we want to delete is at position number two, correct? Vertex is at two because we've got the v index now. So now what we will do, we can go inside this vertex and check its edge list, and we can find out, okay, there are two edges. right so now we have to delete these two edges now remember when you want to delete this edge there is a corresponding edge which is similar to this one which means that if there is a edge between mp to maharashtra we can be sure that inside maharashtra's edge list also we have one more edge to be deleted right this is the edge because it has the id 3 so when you delete mp you will delete this entire vertex which means this id will also be deleted so if we have 3 in maharashtra's edge list it would be a invalid entry right because we literally delete this vertex so any reference to id 3 should not exist in our entire graph structure so even goa has a edge object which is 3,600 so this also should be deleted correct so this deletion process has to happen first as we just discussed and that is what this entire loop is going to do that is this loop at step number 3 So now we will say loop it equals to vertices at v index. We just figured out at index position two is the vertex that we want to delete. So now we will say vertices at two dot edge list dot begin. So we will now go through this edge list and delete each edge object first. So we are saying edge list dot begin to vertices at v index, which is again two dot edge list dot end, which means we will start from the very first edge object. and this is what it will rep represent initially in the first round of this loop we will go inside we will say delete edge by id now this is something that we did in the previous video itself right so you can go check it out and you already have the code if you don't i'll share the link in the video description you can get the entire code to graph implementation over there so we say delete edge by id we pass it dot get destination index so it as i said is initially pointing at the very first edge object what is the destination vertex id over here it is 1 so we are saying 
comma what is vid vid we passed as 3 at the top so we are passing delete edge by id 1 comma 3 so 1 comma 3 means this edge is supposed to be deleted this is 1 this is 3 so 1 comma 3 is this edge so when you delete this edge 3 comma 1 will also be deleted of course because this delete edge by id deletes two instances that is two edge objects from both source and destination right so this will be deleted then the loop will end again you will go at the start of the for loop, for loop and now it will start pointing to the next edge object over here again the same thing will happen we'll come inside and now it is pointing to the next edge object so this one is deleted and when this is deleted even this object will be deleted so now we are currently over here again we will say delete edge by id it is pointing to this edge object so we say get destination vertex id we will pass 2 comma vid is 3 so 2 comma 3 is nothing but this edge 2 is this source vertex and 3 is this destination vertex so we are talking about this edge so this edge will be deleted which means this edge will be deleted and this edge will be deleted also inside the goa this edge will be deleted correct and inside maharashtra this edge will be deleted so we have successfully deleted all edges using this one single loop and when we come outside this loop at the fourth step is the basically last step we say vertices dot erase vertices dot begin so this is a inbuilt function in the vector class which will begin at the start of the object and we say plus v index v index is nothing but 2 so at the start it is 0 Zero plus two is nothing but two. So we want to erase the element stored at index position two in this vertices vector. So at index position two, we have this whole vertex object, which now will ultimately be deleted after deleting all the edges which are associated with this vertex. Okay. So we've basically deleted the two edges first, and then we entirely eliminated this one vertex. and then simply we can print a message vertex deleted successfully so this was a two step process of delete vertex operation in the graph data structure and this is pertaining to r implementation okay so this entire implementation can be different depending upon how the data structure is implemented by someone else okay all right so this was the working and behind the scenes with the step by step dry running now let's jump to the c++ id and quickly write the code and see the code in working so that we can confirm that practically we've covered the delete vertex operation okay so this is our entire graph code we've pretty much written quite a lot of code so far and if you want i'll share the link to our official website where you'll get this entire code as well so that you don't have to type it but as i mentioned i highly recommend that you at least type it once so scrolling down to the graph class this is our graph class this is where we write all the functions and uh, let's scroll down and before the print graph this is where we'll do the delete vertex operation okay so this is the delete vertex by id function and on the right hand side you can also see the pseudo code so we create our v index variable over here so this is the first for loop which will be used to get the index position of the vertex that we want to delete right we will store that in this v index variable This is the second for loop where we will basically delete the edges that are all involved or connected to that particular vertex that we want to delete. So first the edges are supposed to be deleted, and then we will say vertex or vertices that is our vector dot erase, right? Okay. Now coming down to our main function. So so far we have done the add vertex. Ah, uh, now we are going to do the delete vertex. We will do the update vertex later on. we've also done add edge update edge and delete edge right so if you scroll down case one is where we were adding the vertex we've done that we have to do the update vertex yet and this is where we will do the delete vertex so this is where i'm going to copy paste this code we're saying delete vertex operation we will ask the user to enter the state id that is the vertex id that the user want to delete we'll take it from the user so this id one is nothing but a temporary id variable that we've created in the main function at the top we will take it from the user and we will call delete vertex by id function and this should do our work okay so let's go to execute compile and run hopefully everything should work 
without any errors all right so our code is working it seems let's see if our delete vertex operation actually works we'll create this structure and let's try to delete madhya pradesh right so let's first add the vertices for addition we have add vertex option 1 hit enter state id 1 state name mh new vertex added successfully similarly i'll add goa and madhya pradesh also okay so i have added the three vertices let's see them by using the print graph operation option number 9 there you go you can see mh goa and madhya pradesh without any edges so let's add the edges between all of them so addition of edge is option number 4 source vertex 1 and destination vertex 2 this will add a edge between maharashtra and goa the distance between them is 500 so that's the weight there you go edge added successfully let's add one more edge option number 4 between maharashtra and madhya pradesh so 1 and 3 the weight is 700 and one last edge between goa and madhya pradesh as well so option number 4 for addition of edges source id is 2 and destination is 3 and the weight between them is 600 all right so now when i do print graph that is option number 9 you can see the three different vertices and their individual edges right so now we want to delete this entire mp vertex so delete vertex option is operation number 3 i'll hit 3 and hit enter now it is asking for the id of the vertex the id of mp is 3 so i'll say 3 and hopefully this entire entry should be deleted and also the edge object of 3,700 in maharashtra as well as 3,600 in goa should be deleted right so when i hit enter you can see edge between 1 and 3 is deleted edge between 2 and 3 is deleted successfully and then the vertex is deleted successfully which means our delete vertex operation has worked fine but let's confirm it again by printing the graph so option 9 is for printing when i hit enter there you go guys you can see maharashtra and goa are the only two vertices left and there is only connection between maharashtra and goa all the other edge objects are deleted as well as the vertex mp is also deleted which means our delete vertex operation has worked perfectly fine so okay this was the entire practical implementation of deleting a particular vertex in a graph in a very dynamic way where the user gets to choose which vertex he wants to delete and depending upon the connections that are edges that are coming to that particular vertex we first delete all those edges and then we delete the vertices okay so this was the delete vertex operation guys hope you guys understood this operation if you like this video please let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends definitely subscribe if you are new and if you are watching this dsa playlist there are many other videos on this channel you guys can check it out and i'll see you guys in the next one peace